Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another three-box break of 2018 Topps Museum Collection Baseball. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Now, as you read in the item description, if you buy at least two teams, you'll get one entry into our $50 break credit promo. If you get four, you'll get two. If you get six, you'll get three. If you get eight, you get four. If you get nine, you'll still get four. If you get ten, you'll get five. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Let's... Sort by column A. And so Blake got at least two, so that's an entry. Chris Noten, that's an entry. Clay Franklin got two, that's an entry. Jarrett K. Jose. Joseph Anderson. Joe Kroll got six, so he'll have three entries in the promo. The X line. Lee. And Stephen K. All right, so 12 on that list. Good luck. It was 12 last time, too, I think. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize the list. Four and a three, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Name on top is, there's no doubt about it, Joe Kroll. So congrats, Joe. $50 of break credit coming your way. And I'll send that to you uh, after this break is over. All right, so here is, once again, the final printout. Pick your team two. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. And now we'll roll the die and see which of these three boxes we're going to do. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do that far right stack right here and we'll save these for next time. All right. We've got that going on. Good luck, everybody. Now, Rory, before this break started, mentioned, so before this season, Rory Wagner is saying that before this season, I bought two Christian Yelich rookie autos from Topps Chrome, a base for 50 and a sepia for 80. Now they're selling for 190 and 400 respectively. Wow. So now his debate is, does he flip them now or does he hold them? What do you think, everyone? We were actually talking about Yelich a little bit earlier in his hot start this season. We we're talking about when's the last time someone had won two MVPs in a row. In the NL, it was uh, Albert Pujols in the early 2000s. In the AL, it was Miguel Cabrera, I think. Was it Miguel Cabrera? I think so. Well, Kevin Crouch says hold. Joe Babcock says flip. Jesse says hodl, hold. Titanium Timmy says hold. EJC also says hold. I would hold. I would hold. You know, Rory's a Brewers fan. You know, so I don't think you're going to be, it would be part of your PC anyway. Or save one. Sell another one. There's Corey Seager. Rick says sell like the wind. There's Corey Seager to 150.
All right, and your hits. Let's start off with Jacoby Ellsbury out of 25 for the Yankees. That's going to go to Joe Kroll, Bronx Bombers. Nice one for the Yankees. So Rory's actually thinking maybe he'll sell the base and then keep the sepia. Yeah, I would I would uh I would uh I would sell one and keep one. Especially since you're a Brewers fan. There's Tommy Fan. 231 out of 299. That'll be for the Cardinals, Lee Day, with the Cardinals. Behind Ernie Banks, let's play two. Is a quad relic, Trey Turner. 93 out of 99. Anyone know how long he's going to be out with that finger? I feel like he was on his way to a, I mean, early. He's had a great start to the season. David Chang. David with the Nats. And behind Roger Clemens, it's going to be a dual relic and autograph, Carlos Santana. Two out of 25. Nice set of patches right there. That is for the Tribe. Jose with the Indians. There you go, Jose. All right, next box. Now, if, if we're all as cons if if most of the most of the gang seems to be saying, "Hey, Rory, hold on to it, hold on to those Yelich's Yelichai," if that's the case, are we are we then assuming that that Christian Yelich is is going to have another monster season? Because like the idea is. The idea is, hey, if his value is going to go up, that's that means that's to suggest that he is going to continue raking. Joe P was even in here earlier saying that, hey, I think the Brewers not only can they win their division, but they could go pretty deep in the playoffs, maybe World Series. If if Yelich wins a uh, if Yelich wins a ring, I mean, he'll be. And it's like World Series MVP, you know. I mean, that would that would be another yet another boost. It'll go to the next level in uh, in value. But that's you gotta you gotta argue that that's why you're gonna hold, right? <laughs> yes, Joe 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 P is actually a big baseball fan. He's got some good baseball takes, but he he says he likes the Brewers a lot this year. Oh, there's Ryan Brooks. Speaking of the Brewers, I've got Cubs Brewers right now. Atomic Card Guy, that's Rick Barker. He's saying, he's saying that you'll miss the boat if you hold too long. Not everyone's a superstar. So you're arguing that Yelich is not a superstar. So if that's the case, then yeah, I guess you would flip. All right, Kevin Kratz says, I'm going to go to Vegas in June and betting it. Right, and then blame Joe P if it doesn't work out. It's like, Joe, you owe me 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, let me grab the numbered card first. There's Jose Altuve to 99. Uh, I did meet Christian Yelich at the uh, at the Tops Industry Conference. All right, and behind the re the sketch reproduction of Babe Ruth is Mike Trout. I've heard of him. 17 out of 75. Triple Relic. And that goes to the Angels, Joe Kroll with the Angels. Behind Cal Ripken is 
Triple Relic and Autograph, Kyle Seeger, Corey's brother. 13 out of 25. I think he's still, he's still making his way back from some kind of injury, right? That goes to the Mariners. Blake with Seattle. Behind the professor, Greg Maddox, is a dual relic. Adam Wainwright and Dexter Fowler. 39 out of 50. Dual meaningful material. It goes to the Redbirds. Lee with the Cardinals. And behind you, Darvish. Rough, rough start for him today again. Is Andy Pettit. Nice. 38 out of 50. Andy Pettit auto going to Joe Kroll and the Yankees. That's right. Yeah, Angels hosting the Rangers right now. They're up one nothing in the fourth. Rory wants to kill off that uh, Topps definitive break after this. I'm down. That's getting close. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. We've got another three boxes, another two three-box breaks available on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Same deal. If you buy at least two teams, you can uh, be eligible for uh, $50 of break credit. So check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And one of one, Salvador Perez. Nice. That is for the Royals. The X line with the Royals. There you go, Josh. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. There's Chris Sale to 150. And your base cards. All right, behind Cano is Noah Syndergaard, seven out of 50. It's gone. Wow, Joey Gallo just went yard. It's like six, seven rows up. Jose Zapata with the Mets. Someone tell Jose. Jose is asking if this is NT2. He might be lagging behind. Someone tell Jose to refresh. Wait, what? where's that patch from, you think? All right, Clint Frazier reveals another Met, Ahmed Rosario, 210 out of 299, another one for Jose and the Mets. We got Marcel Ozuna. And he reveals a quad relic. Another set of Mets for Jose. Noah Syndergaard, Jacob DeGrom, Michael Conforto, Yoenis Cespedes. Quad relic, 82 
out of 99. That's three in a row. And behind the Ricky Henderson sketch reproduction, is it another Met? No, it's not. It's Tommy Pham, Cardinals. Dual relic and autograph out of 299. That goes to Lee and the Redbirds. And there you go, folks. That was Pick Your Team 2, 2018 Top Museum Collection Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.